This is the dawn of a new era in British karting. Over 550 drivers in 12 classes competing for victory over 18 race weekends. This is the Motorsport UK British Kart Championships. Forest Edge signals the season finale for the Motorsport UK British Kart Championships for Rotax classes. Whilst there are five drivers battling for the title, Matt Jones has put on a strong display in Senior Max all year long and now wants to end the season on a high. Uh, this weekend started quite promising. We were close to the pace. We were fairly quick in qualifying, but in the race we were a bit unlucky involved in the first corner accident and weren't able to start the race. As I'm quite a local lad, I'm quite familiar with the track, so I've got a lot of experience and confidence around it. Standing in this class is really high and it's competitive through the full grid. It's all close racing. Guy Cunnington for pole position from Ben Burgess, Tom Edmonds, Oakley Pryor, Lewis Halliday, Wooder, Gifford, Hunter, Johnson, Stansbury and Lowther with five drivers in the hunt for the driver's title. Kieran Gifford, Oakley Pryor, Bradley Barrett, Reese Hunter and Guy Cunnington. It's the showdown of all showdowns here at Forest Edge in Senior Rotax. Jake Sanson with you. The lights will go out and we'll race for the last time. Here we go! Great start from Cunnington. He launches across and takes the early lead. And there's a problem early doors. Oh, and we've got two or three cards off the road already. Someone's got a mechanical problem, and two carts have been spun out to the scenery as the rest of the field races its way round through winges and up towards the bus stop for the first time. So now time to take stock of the situation and see who it was that didn't make it through at the start because there are several drivers who are not able to continue. Two drivers out of the race already. So now we need to look back and see what the situation is for those competitors because Two drivers out of the race, but Cunnington is your leader from Oakley Pryor and Ben Burgess. Big lunge forward from Reese Hunter. He makes a mammoth step forward into fourth place past Lewis Halliday. So this is going to be an absolutely amazing fight. But of course, we are still looking at Guy Cunnington being the champion on drop scores. He's fifth in total, but on drop scores, Cunnington is the favourite to win the title, especially if he can stay here. Oakley Pryor is second, and if it stays like this, then it's going to be Cunnington who emerges as the senior Rotax champion. Last year, he was the vice junior champion. This year, he has really stepped it up a gear. The nine plate has got a warning flag for something that has occurred on the first lap. Gifford, Barrett and Reese Hunter are doing their best to move forward. And every place is critical. Every point is essential now. Some great race craft as they come across the line in the mid-pack. Cunnington from Pryor, Burgess is third from Hunter, then Halliday, Stansbury, Wooder, Barrett, Johnson, Gifford, Davis, Rose, Lowther and Stenning. Jemima Hepworth up to 15th, Storrer up to 16th and Lockwood up to 17th. A massive comeback from Lockwood already. But Cunnington, Pryor and Burgess are up front and they are doing what they need to do. Pryor's just got to try and close up on Guy Cunnington before the end of this race. If he can pass him, then the championship might just change hands because there's only six points between them if it finishes like this. And obviously, if Cunnington were to be passed by Pryor, he would score three points less. So Cunnington's got to beat Pryor on the road, and he's got to do it with a decent result. But Guy Cunnington is doing everything he needs to do. So far, it is looking okay. But considering he came into this weekend fifth in the points, he knew that on drop scores he had a good chance to get this job done. And the victory in the earlier final definitely cements that. But Cunnington is charging away. Now, Oakley Pryor's got to be careful and calculated here. He needs to register that Cunnington is pulling away. And he needs to be a bit more calculated about how he looks after his tyres, how he looks after his brakes, and whether he can work with Ben Burgess to close up on Guy Cunnington. But there's still a bit of a way to go here. And there are still five drivers who can be champion. It's all going to depend on what happens. But Cunnington so far is in the best position. We've got an issue on the straight. Two drivers in trouble. That is Sam Harrison and Jemima Hepworth. Jemima Hepworth has had a problem on the main straight and she is out of the race here. So a big problem for Jemima Hepworth. Her brilliant season comes to an end. Yellow flags in the final turn. 
Well, we're just double checking to make sure that Jemima is okay here at the first corner. She's gonna get out of the car, so that is good news. Yellow flags though in the first bend, so there'll be no overtaking. And so the drivers are obviously gonna continue on. Hopefully it's no full course yellow. Jemima Hepworth is escorted away by Nigel Edwards. A disappointing end to her season. But there's still plenty of future for her. The Young Racing Driver Academy star is definitely going to be a very competitive racer in the future. Guy Cunnington just holding station in the lead at the present moment in front of Oakley Pryor and Ben Burgess. Fourth position is Rhys Hunter, desperately trying to salvage more points from this race. He's in fourth position at the moment and he's got to hope that there's going to be a bit of drama up front. But Cunnington is just measuring his pace to Oakley Pryor, but Pryor is closing up. So Pryor is catching Cunnington. This battle is not done. Guy Cunnington leads, Oakley Pryor second. If he gets past, it's going to be on countback as to who gets the title between those two. And if they finish dead level on points, I have a feeling it's still going to be Guy Cunnington. But it will be very tight, so Guy will not want Oakley Pryor to get anywhere near him at all. So they continue to battle. Cunnington is looking at 630 points scored from the season. Oakley Pryor is currently estimated to have 624. That's a gap of six points. Another six points back is going to be Kieran Kidman. Four points behind him, Bradley Barrett. Three points behind him, Reese Hunter. So it's very tight and the championship fight is not done yet. Anything can still happen. But Cunnington is snapping perfectly at the moment. Fastest of all in the first sector. Pryor second from Burgess, Hunter, Wooder and Barrett. So there might be a bit of a problem developing for Lewis Malin. Sounds like there might be some mechanical issues for the comp car. But as he continues to try and pull away from the car behind him, that's the 81 of Jaden Walker, the last driver in. Oakley Pryor is throwing caution to the winds here and going after Guy Cunnington. So Cunnington leads as he goes into his eighth, uh, sorry, into his ninth lap, I should say. So Cunnington in front of Pryor, Burgess, Hunter, Wooder and Barrett. Lewis Halliday is pressing the first car at the moment, and the 37 in there as well is Sam Stansbury in front of Kieran Gifford, who is having a really difficult weekend here. The championship leader coming into this weekend, but on drop scores, he is going to slip to third behind Cunnington and Pryor. It's been a very tricky season for Kieran Gifford. He's had good consistency, but these last couple of meetings, things have really not gone his way. And it's Guy Cunnington and Oakley Pryor who have totally grabbed the initiative. So Cunnington and Pryor are going to continue to race to the finish line here. Out through the final few laps of this season. Oakley is still on the block. Cunnington still trying to stretch away from Pryor. Pryor keeping him honest though. A five tenths of a second deficit. Pryor was slightly quicker than Cunnington on the last lap too. So we're not done yet. And Oakley Pryor will still be giving it absolutely everything to close in on Guy Cunnington for the end of this race. And if anything were to happen to those two, then there would be an amazing battle after that point. So it looks as though we've had someone else peel into the pits. That is Harvey Edmondson. Harvey Edmondson in trouble. Looks as though Lewis malin has got some mechanical problems developing as well. We've already picked up on that one, but even more are coming. And Guy Cunnington is now just less than half a second in front of Oakley Pryor. Pryor is catching it up in a fourth place. That's a lovely move from Luke Wooder. Luke Wooder gets past Rhys Hunter. Meanwhile, Bradley Barrett is still trying to take off Halliday and Stansbury. Gifford is next up. And then behind them, it is Angie Stenning in 10th from Johnson. Lowther, Lockwood, Davis, Rose, Clinton and Jones from Holbrook, Luscombe and Cannon. So the battle is still tooth and nail between Pryor and Cunnington, who are trading fastest sector times at the moment. The number 40 has got a mechanical flag. That is Thomas Stora. So Thomas Stora looks like he's going to be out of the race. And so too is Lewis Mayling. He pulls in. So the mechanical problems are too great for Lewis Mayling. His race is over. Meanwhile, though, Guy Cunnington's not safe yet. Oakley Pryor still chipping away at the lead. The gap is down to 0.43. Oakley Pryor is not surrendering. He's not giving up. He's still pushing. If Cunnington could just look after the tyres and brakes, though, the second half of the race could well come to him. A warning flag goes out there. That's for the 12. That's James Lowther, who was last year's junior champion, of course, and he's really struggled to transition to a senior. He's not really had the year he wanted. Conversely, his main rival from last year, Guy Cunnington, who was the vice champion in junior Rotax last year, in his first year as a senior, is on the course 
and on the verge of becoming champion, but Oakley Fryer is charging after him. It's now looking likely that these two will battle over the title, but if they do have an issue, then there's going to be a couple of other drivers who have something to say about it. Gifford, Barrett and Hunter are still waiting in the wings. So Oakley Fryer is charging after Guy Cunnington, and with six minutes to spare, Cunnington just needs to keep the pace up. At Persistence Motorsport, they are sweating cobs because the Team Clay Racing man, Oakley Pryor, is still giving him plenty of pressure. There's enough time for Pryor to catch, but is there enough opportunity? Because Guy Cunnington is not going to give him any space at all. Cunnington still pushing, Pryor right in behind him. They need to keep up this tempo. Some great overtakes in the midfield. We've had some amazing battles. Jason Lockwood is up from 29th on the grid to 12th, would you believe? An amazing comeback from him. And some moves made from Barrett. He's up to 8th place from 14th on the grid. Matt Jones has come up 12 places to 16th. And some great pro uh, progress from George Holbrook and Ryan Luscombe. Retirements in the first final. And they've now made up over half a dozen places apiece. So Cunnington and Pryor still very close together. Six tenths of a second on the last lap as they come through. But Oakley Pryor is giving it everything to close in on Guy Cunnington. This race is going down to the wire. So is the title fight. Five minutes remain in this season and in this championship showdown between Guy Cunnington and Oakley Pryor. On drop scores, they are just six points apart if Cunnington finishes ahead of Pryor. If Pryor can get past, I'm fairly sure they will finish dead level and then it will go back to a count back. Cunnington does not want to lose this race to Pryor though. He wants to win by winning a race. So here comes Cunnington in front of Pryor. Burgess is third, fourth is Wooder, then it is Hunter, Halliday, Stanford, Barrett, and then it is the 71 of Gifford in front of Stenny and Johnson. Jason Lockwood can't quite get close enough. But what a battle this is going to be between Cunnington and Pryor. He takes his first look over his right shoulder to try and assess where Oakley Pryor is. He's got about 4 minutes and 20 seconds left, plus the additional lap of course, so there's still time for things to come to him. So the retirements, we have Tom Edmonds who had a breakdown on the way through the first corner, Alex Holgate, Jemima Hepworth, Harvey Edmondson, Lewis Malin and Tom Storrar, all retirements from the race. But that was a big problem for Tom Edmonds, of course, from the sharp end of the field. Tom Edmonds started the race from uh, up in P4 on the grid. And uh, that has all gone terribly wrong from his point of view. A shame for Tom Edmonds, he was running so well up until that mechanical failure robbed him of what would have been a really strong result. He can only look and speculate as to what can happen now in 2020. He'll be back and he'll be charging for the title, no doubt. But Guy Cunnington and Oakley Pryor head into the last three and a half minutes of racing of this season as they duel for the title. All of the Rotax 177 crew are stood at the sidelines watching this showdown unfold as well. Cunnington and Pryor still battling one-on-one. -on -one. And it is a head-to-head -head scrap for the race and for the title. Exactly as it needs to be. Cunnington still trading sector times with Oakley Pryor. Pryor is slightly slower in the first split. So Cunnington still has the measure of him at the moment. He needs to keep that sort of momentum up. But it is going to be tight all the way. That is for sure. Into the final hairpin. Cunnington and Pryor. One and two. One or two in the race, one or two in the standings, one or two in the title fight, with only a couple of minutes left in the season. But Oakley Pryor has been looking after these tyres the last couple of laps. He's backed down a little bit, and now he's got a chance again to close up on Guy Cunnington. The gap comes down to 0.49 in the closing stages. Pryor still fighting after Cunnington. But as long as Cunnington can get through the rest of this race without Pryor getting close enough to go for a move, He's going to have what it takes to hold on for the championship fight. But still, Oakley Pryor hustles Guy Cunnington. If he can close in and pass, this is going to be an absolutely monumental fight. Two minutes to go in the 2019 Motorsport UK British Car Championship season for senior Rotax in a turn four. Down the straight towards Windows. And so far, this is a very exciting run for the two leaders. Third position though is Ben Burgess from Wooder, Reese Hunter and Lewis Halliday. 
Then Stansbury, Barrett and Stenning. So Angie Stenning has got past Kieran Gifford, compounding Kieran's woes even more. He can't afford to lose too many points here, Kieran Gifford, because there's still the threat of third position being stolen by Barrett and Hunter. So Gifford cannot afford to lose too many points. Speaking of Reese Hunter, he is now in defensive mode. He's trying to shake off Lewis Halliday. Halliday's giving him a real run for his money. He's going to come towards the inside line. And Halliday gets up the inside of Reese Hunter and snaps his fifth position away. So Halliday gets through past Reese Hunter. And that's going to cost Hunter another point. So still they race for supremacy. Still they battle and rage on around the circuit here. But Guy Cunnington in front of Oakley Fryer is still the order of proceedings. And if Cunnington could just keep on stretching the gap when he needs to, he's got what it takes to get this done. Cunnington is faster in the first split. Fryer is faster in the second split. And as they finish the lap, it's a stalemate between them. Now, they're going to come up to lap Jaden Walker. Sam Sanders potentially as well. Blue flags wave for Jaden Walker. And he's going to need to get out of the way pretty quickly of the leaders, Cunnington and Fryer. He will come out of the fourth corner at Winges and then up the climb towards bus stop. Cunnington still with the lead over Oakley Pryor. So now they will battle together through the bus stop chicane. But I think it's going to be too little too late for Oakley Pryor. Cunnington is still pushing Hammer and Tongs down to the wire. And is this going to be the last lap or are they going to start one more? They are going to start one more, you know, over the line with one second to go. So Cunnington's got to hang on for two more laps, not one more lap. So close, so tight in this battle for the title. But so far, Cunnington has the measure of Pryor. He was faster than Pryor in the last lap by two hundredths of a second. It's so tight in the final reckoning of this title fight. Into the bus stop for the penultimate time. All he has to do is keep it up. All he has to do is stay in position. And getting out of the way now, it's going to be critical for Jaden Walker. He gets the blue flag for the umpteenth time this lap. He's going to need to move over and let them go. Blue flag still. Cunnington's going to dive up the inside line though. And that surely has cemented it as Pryor gets through as well. But Cunnington has got the pace he needs to keep it together. On the last lap of the season, he came into this weekend on total points in fifth. But he knew that on drop scores, he didn't have too many poor results to drop. So now Guy Cunnington will come through the bus stop for the last time. Oakley Pryor is still pushing him. But try as he might, he just can't find a weak spot. Guy Cunnington, second half of the season, has just been so superior. He comes into the final turn, and Guy Cunnington is the senior Rotax champion of Great Britain in 2019. Brilliant! And he knows what that means. He has achieved his objective. Guy Cunnington is the British champion. Oakley Fryer is second after an amazing season. Third place goes to Ben Burgess in the race from Wooder, Stansbury, Hunter, Bradley Barrett, Angie Stenning from Kieran Gifford and Lewis Halliday. But the new British champion in senior Rotax is Guy Cunnington. After an amazing fight back all season long, his first year as a senior, and he is the rightful British Senior Rotax Champion. What a year for Guy Cunnington, and now he can well and truly celebrate. Guy Cunnington snatches the title at the season finale, pushed all the way by vice champion Oakley Pryor. And with Ben Burgess joining them on the podium, the season ends with smiles all round. Final two, led it from the start, but Oakley was so close behind all the way. I pulled away at the start a little bit, but from then on he just caught me every lap and it was, oh, he pushed so hard. Fair, fair play to Oakley, didn't, make him, didn't put a foot wrong. Coming into this round, we knew that Guy would be quick and hard to beat, um, but I think we showed that we could nearly beat him, but now nah, we couldn't because he was he was quick. Started off alright, got behind 
OT after a couple of laps, um, just fell off the back of him, didn't really have the pace in the, uh, the rest of it in the final. Um, good result though, coming away with first.